Okay, so I'm just gonna do the countdown. In three, two, one, go. It's me, Mario. Okie dokie. Alright. Star Revenge Redone 2.2. You might think, why 2.2? Because this is a remake of the remake of a remake of a remake of the original Star Revenge 1. I think I didn't miss any remakes. At least I hope so. And I'm more than happy to go through this game with you guys for the next two hours or so. Because it's a great game. Might be the final update of this game. Maybe, because this is like good. <laughs> One extra remake. Ah, yeah, rip. So yeah, straight up. We are going to the wing cap stage. This is actually entirely new in this version. Like, there are a bunch of levels that didn't get changed from uh, the previous version. But yeah, this one is entirely changed. Like, the theme is the same, but textures and, like, layout is a little different. All the good stuff. I should probably say that this is made by Brodude, but everyone knows pretty much that the Starvenge series is by Brodude. Because there are only, like, 20 hex. Oh yeah. One thing that's important, 6 out of 8 red coins, because yes, 80 coin stars, um, 60 degree wall kick patch, like, all the good shit. That might mess me up sometimes, but it also helps with some skips. So yeah, we'll find out how it goes. Uh, how it goes. Here it is really important to not land anywhere, because... Otherwise, you would uh, lose the momentum and not reach the star as easily as I can do right now. Which is quite finicky sometimes. Like, flying high speed is not easy. So yeah, I'm glad this is over. Especially since I have, like... Terribly cold hands at the moment. <laughs> this might be rough for the beginning. Shouldn't have washed my hands. Keepo. So yeah, the next, uh, the other two stars are pretty simple. The one is just at the top of the tower, where we will see. A familiar symbol. Yeah, I guess you couldn't see it that well there. And yeah, the next star is actually like a big improvement over what this used to be, in my opinion. So there used to be a star in this stage where you have to collect secrets while flying around like a pole in the middle of a room. It was actually terrible and really hard to do quickly. But the secrets got removed entirely. So instead we have just the normal room here with the pole in the middle, but now the star is just there. Really convenient, I like it. And that's all the stars from the wing cap stage. Moving on with uh, course 2. This actually did not get changed from the original Redone 2 version. This is still the same. So yeah. I've done this run many times at this event, so I guess... Uh, this is not as interesting, even though there are probably some new viewers as well. As opposed to the usual crew. 
So for this story, you're normally supposed to walk through the whole level. But we can also just like walk it up here. And we are at the end of the level. Pretty good. The star is caught between the cannons. I guess there's actually a second cannon in this level, but we never use that. Like on this mountain we uh, we just walked on, there's actually a second cannon. Or at least there used to be, I never checked if it is in this version, but there probably is. Because this level is unchanged. Alright. This mission is very RNG heavy, unfortunately. Gotta kill a lot of Lakitus. So let's see how that goes. We'll also just take out this Goomba for convenience, so I have one more coin. That might help me in the end. Try to go fast without kicking, but that really did not work out. Wow, really good RNG so far. I like it. All the coins I wanted so far. That's actually amazing. Now only two luggage is left. And I don't need every coin of those. Like that is actually okay that I missed one there because I got so many. And now I can still miss one of uh, this guy here. Ooh. <laughs> really tried to uh, ruin my run there. Alright, since I got the 80 coin star already, I can just, like, dive here, through the coin, straight into the star. It's actually really cool. Here we go. stars. For this one, uh, you're supposed to climb on top of the mountain and drop down to an alcove, but you can also just uh, use the cannon to get there immediately. That was a really slow cannon shot, but that's fine. And one hidden star because we need more hidden stars in levels. At least it tells you like the general area where it is. The mountain that doesn't have a house on it. And there's only one mountain that has those conditions. I think there are only two mountains in this entire level anyway, so... <laughs> not really hard to figure this, this one out. And there we go. Now, course 3 is entirely changed. Like, the theme is still the same, but it's like a complete new level. And it's super fast. Which is cool. Oh, I kind of messed with that one up already. But yeah. Here we go. You will see more of the level right now because that was just the star that is at the start. <laughs> really simple star. 
Now here comes something I could actually mess up. Because this is kind of a terrible skip involving slope kicks. Yep, there we go. My kick got eaten, I had no chance of saving that. That's just something that can happen. It's really bad, because you fall in the water. You have to go back all the way. But, yeah, you can't really do much about that. At least I didn't figure anything out. Alright, this time it worked. Perfect. So we do that instead of going around the cliff there. It saves a bunch of time, a bunch of time. But yeah, kind of inconsistent, unfortunately. Just simple walk the path star. No, I'm gonna do coins. Also, a really, really uh, quick star. Like, it's quick enough for it to be in the uh, any percent category of this game. Pretty crazy. And I'm gonna end this on red. Red itself is also like just a really fast star in general. Also, that was pretty cool. I think I'm just gonna skip those five coins and save myself in a different fashion. I don't know how. Actually, that's a really bad idea. I'm still gonna go here. Because I have no idea where any other coins are, really. Any percent is not zero star in this game. Zero star is impossible because um, BLJs got patched. You cannot BLJ in this game. So any percent is actually 65 star. So yeah, red coins themselves are really fast as well, but it's just better to combine this with the coin star. Because you get um, 12 coins anyway. And there aren't that many coins in this level, to be honest. Star atop the town. We are supposed to like go through this village or town or whatever. But we can also just walk it up here. Hopefully with a bunch of thirsties so it goes quicker. Because these walls are actually super far apart. You can speed that up like so much with thirsties. But thirsties are not free to get. It's a frame-perfect input, after all. Also, just the normal secret warp in the flowers. That is in every, wo in every version. And off to the Ouija stage. That is also unchanged. Uh oh, this angle is bad. Really bad. I knew it. <laughs> there was no way to save that, actually, from when I long jumped. So yeah, I'm having my problems with holding uh, good angles recently. I'm just gonna blame my controller. Can't be myself.
The single is also terrible. I hope I can make this. Oh my god, okay. Okay. I just can't seem to hold the correct angle for the long jump. So yeah, there we go. The first train wreck part. So normally you're supposed to use the vanish cap to go through the gate. But we can also just do this. And this time it actually worked. Let's go. Alright, hopefully this was like the only train wreck part. I mean, we'll see how the next uh, skip goes. Because that might also be terrible. But there you don't have to hold specific angles, so I should be good. Oh, that's the wrong coin actually, wow. Okay. I played this game for many years, by the way. I should know pretty much everything. But yeah, there we go. I'm not supposed to throw for content because we are actually like a little behind of schedule. And I only like let that through because I hosted before. Uh, because I was uh, convinced I would crush my estimate. But yeah, we'll see about that one. So yeah, here. We go to the slight level without the metal cap. And hopefully just bouncing up here. There we go. That is like a big time loss uh, if you messed that up. Thankfully I got it. Slide level is unchanged by the way. Only like the slide timer. I think it got increased from 12 seconds to 14 seconds. More casual friendly. Even though the 12 second timer like was not that hard to beat. But I guess. Rodeo likes to make his hacks more casual friendly these days. Here we go. That jump is actually not that easy. Skipping the lava bones. And now we have the tiny wump. With glasses for some reason. Oh, that was like a frame too early on the ground pound. And the only star that's left here is the one that's at the end of the slide. In case uh, you do not uh, go below the required time for the timer star. You still have one star down there for free. So you don't have to like kill yourself or exit level. Here you can just go around the finish line to not spawn the timer star. Because... Uh, yeah, that takes like 4 or 5 seconds to spawn. Or maybe that's a little too much, but you know the deal. Nice. I had a lot of trouble with the bomb clip like the last couple days. I'm really happy I pulled it off first try. Okay, so here, 
RNG could make a difference for the coin star. Like you saw the the Goomba at the start here. If the Goomba and the Bobomb are close enough to each other, which is determined by RNG because the Goomba position is RNG. Um, hold up. Like, they can actually just kill each other, spawning two extra coins, and in case that happens, I'm gonna do the coin star, because... That makes it a lot more lenient. Originally, there was, um, a fire spitter, where that Goomba is. But that just came with this, uh, version, I don't know why. But that just happened. Alright, no good luck so far. But we got a couple more chances. Wait, I was not supposed to get these coins. Oops. Probably should mention that I'm like pretty much doing skips for all the stars so far in this level. There's also a skip for the star I'm doing right now, the penguin star, but I don't like it. And in my opinion it doesn't save enough for uh, how risky it is. At least I am not good at it. Almost dropped the penguin in the lava. Let's go. But yeah, we saved it. Okay, one more chance on... Uh, or like two more chances on RNG. Like if this time it doesn't work... And next time, I will just have to go for it. Oh, that was kind of close. Normally, when you want to do the bomb clip, they will just kill each other and the bomb is gone and then you uh, you have to do something else. Or take the second bomb that is there, but it's slower. Oh, shit. I missed the double jump input. Pretty good, man. All right. Here we go. Coins are left. Whatever happens, I gotta do them. No good luck for me. Never mind, but that was too f uh, that was too late. <laughs> Oops. Oh, you can get a triple jump there and just go straight up those steps. Kind of difficult, in my opinion. But yeah, it's only a small optimization, really. We are not here for the sickest of all runs, even though it would be kind of sick if I got the first uh, sub to our time right now. But I doubt that because I've already done so many mistakes. So many big ones, even. Oops. So yeah, since... Uh, RNG was not in my favor at the start. I have to kill two Goombas now. That coin was about to, uh, about to uh, ruin me. Oh, that one did as well. Let's 
go. <laughs> Fortunately, there are enough Goombas on this bridge. With the deepest voice ever. You know it. I hear that a lot. Even IRL. I wasn't aware of that until people told me about it, because, you know, the voice you hear in your own head is something different. Alright, course 5. Also unchanged. Yeah, it's not like I put a filter on my microphone or my audio to make the voice deeper or anything. Like, this is just my voice. Oops. So, yeah, we're starting out with the coin star here. Because. Uh, at the top of the level, there's the cannon Bobomb. And by opening the cannon, you actually get an intended shortcut in this level. Using two cannon shots to go to the top of the, of the level. And since we only need 6 out of 8 red coins... Uh, we can actually do this instead of uh, going up first without doing the coins. Because there are two coins that require cannons. But since we only uh, need six out of eight, we can actually skip those. Really convenient. Far so good. Not the worst coin mission I've ever done. Walk kick off of the tree. I've missed that walk kick sometimes. And then, uh, you could actually fall down the entire way to the start of the level, it's great. Unless you react quickly enough, which is difficult. Also, yeah, start ends quick. Here's the cannon we opened. There's another one in the level. But we're not gonna use that for this star. Because this is just the one star that is not on the normal path. Oh, I walked off of the wrong wall. So I couldn't do like the fluent movement. Missing rollouts on slopes, my favorite. The LOL star. Exactly. Those platforms form the world, the word LOL. Because Brodit is a funny dude. I mean, he should be excused because back in 2012 he was probably pretty young. It's been nine years after all. So yeah, this is the cannon shot shortcut.
two cannon shots and we are at the castle. The least lol toned explanation of lol you've ever heard. No problem. I know I'm good at that. As a good German, I I have trouble uh, getting the emotions through, you know. Especially as a North German guy, we have trouble doing that. Like, we are actually just pretty boring. But also very chill, and I like being chill. <laughs> Alright, the small path. That might be a little monkeys. Oh yeah, that was good. Here we go. Two more stars. One of them is a hidden one. It's actually pretty hard to find, if you ask me. The royal secret hideout. I mean, the hint is probably that it's near the castle because it's the royal secret hideout. And hideouts are typically like below the ground, like basements and shit. I guess that is how you could find out where it is more easily. Otherwise you will just have to uh, search for a long time. So yeah, it's just right here, you drop down and there it is. Pretty random. DAIC2, that wasn't lit. King Toad being on drugs is always my favorite. Alright, last star. For this one, we actually don't take the cannon shortcut, because... If you do it optimally, the normal path is a little faster. Not that easy to do it optimally, but yeah. Still faster. And still enough faster. To actually go for it. Like, that was really good. That was... Ugh! Okay. I was so scared of hitting an invisible wall there. So yeah, that was definitely definitely faster than the cannon shortcut. So where I was just super afraid of hitting an invisible wall... Uh, when you stay on the normal, like, path that is, like... Indicated by the bricks in the on the ground or whatever. I don't know how you call that in English. Um, you might hit an invisible wall because that's like the only place where they are. All right. Overworld reds. In the overworld, of course in the overworld, because it's overworld reds, dumbass. <laughs> While also collecting the toad star. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, kind of sloppy. Now, next stage was pretty fun. We're going into the Bowser 1 level. Which also got an entire remake. Doesn't look like a lot like the original one. Has a really nice triple jump walking at the start. It's kind of difficult. That angle is not gonna work. Nice. I'm dead. Oops. Like the lava bounce I did there to skip slope climbing was a little low. That's why I didn't make it on the platform and I did not manage to save it. Even though it was actually not that hard to save. I just missed uh, a slope jump. But yeah, we are fine. That's how I was, uh, I was supposed to do it. Also, this has some good texturing. Or collision. I just fell through the ground if you didn't notice that. I just went a little bit too far on the platform. I know that uh, can happen. But yeah, not the entire platform there is solid. You can actually fall through it. There are some funny things uh, happening with the collision map in this game. I will definitely point some very funny thing out later. Uh, there are eight red coins in every stage, but you only need six red coins. All right. Maybe you noticed we did not go to course one yet. That's because we need the metal cap for one star in it. Uh, we used to be able to skip the metal cap, but with this update. Uh, that skip got patched. So unfortunately we have to do two trips to the first overworld now. Because of that one star. It is not a shadow update. It is an update uh, from version 2.2... Uh, from version 2.1 to version 2.2. Heading uh, to Metal Cup. Which is hidden in this dark area. Just like in the other versions. Even though this looks uh, pretty different. Alright. First up, going straight to the switch. We cannot do any BLJ skips here because, like I said, BLJs are patched. So this stage is uh, slower on this version. But 
yeah, in general, this version is a lot faster. Are kind of finicky. You can't see much. Here we go. All right. Each cap stage has uh, three stars to it. Wing cap, metal cap, vanish cap, all the same star mode. So for this star we used to BLJ through the wall in this area. But since we can't do that, we actually gotta take the normal path. It is technically possible to get this star without the metal cap. But since this is... Uh, this area is filled with toxic gas, it's really, really hard. I got it once, but I don't want to do that in runs. Also, it doesn't really save much time, because you gotta press the switch anyway. Also, yeah, the Metal Cup theme is pretty good, actually. Oh. I wanted to bounce on the Scuttlebug and open the box uh, with the bounce. Kind of swag movement, but that's fine. Here we have like a small maze. You can choose left or right path, and only one is correct, so 50-50 chance every time. Not a bad maze if you ask me. Didn't die to that, that's great. Star one, pretty big skip here. Which is pretty easy because we have good camera. Shoutouts to Egg Lab. So apparently there's a lava bun skip you can do to climb this tower faster. I always forget to look out for it. So I'm just climbing. <laughs> Quick bully kill. Here we go. And off to the next uh, very RNG heavy coin mission. We love to see it. Because basically this whole level is only killing enemies and breaking boxes and hoping for the best coins it's fun yo thank you pixel yo that was sick rng i got like all the coins I did not want to do that. Alright, so I actually have enough coins now already, so I can just go. 
without killing any more enemies. That's like my strategy when I do this. I just kill every enemy on my way until I have enough coins and then I just go. Instead of like thinking which enemies could potentially be faster because RNG can just uh, screw you here and there. Uh, if I didn't get dust, I would have gotten the coin. But there are backup coins. There we go, that was actually pretty good. So finally, if you remember the other versions of this game and the runs, there was always a way to skip riding the shell to the star. But finally, on this version, it actually got fixed. On version 2.1, uh, the fix was a failure because apparently, like, there was supposed to be a ceiling that somehow became a wall in the tunnel, so we could still do the skip. But it finally got uh, fixed, so we don't have to deal with that bullshit anymore. That skip was a big run killer. Also, here's the funny thing with the collision map. You see how this is lava, right? Well, is it? Is it, though? Hmm. <laughs> the thing is... Um, there's lava through the whole tunnel until, like, right before the star. So, we can actually not abuse that uh, to skip the shell, because you cannot reach that area without taking at least three lava bounces. It's... it's kinda... kinda close. Not really close, actually. It's pretty close to get there with three level bounces. I don't think that was the case for 2.1. Alright, now there's a wing cap. What are we gonna do with this? Hopefully I can fly up here, because that skips one cannon shot. It's pretty close. But it works. And that's it for course 6. Actually golding this by a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. But the coins were really good, because of good RNG. Alright, this is also a skip. You're not supposed to get MIPS at this point of the game. In Overworld 3, there is a hidden pipe that leads uh, to the top of the tower in this overworld. And there is a wing cap. And with that, you are supposed to get MIPS. But yeah. It's pretty simple skip to just go up there. This level also got an entire makeover. Oh, damn. 
There we go. Everyone's favorite, the tree star in Core 7. Except it's not even that bad in this game anymore. Because you can ledge grab the planks. You have the wall kick degree patch. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, for this star you're supposed to go to the other side of this area, press a switch, to spawn boxes, <laughs> which I probably should have done because I failed the skip. It's a pretty tight um, triple jump dive right there. Actually pretty difficult. I like to um, compare this to DDD 100's triple jump dive to the last red, even though I think this is tighter. Because, you know, I have experience with uh, vanilla speedruns. And I don't fail that as much as I fail this. There we go. So yeah, at that point it probably would have been faster to just press the switch, take the boxes, but yeah. We are here to showcase. I'm not here to PB or anything. Technically I could still PB, but it's highly unlikely. With all the time loss I had already, I would not be happy with a PB with this run. So yeah, let's just move on. Oh. So this star is called the Arrow Nose, yeah. There's an arrow on the sign there, on the right. <laughs> that points right here. And there's the star. <laughs> I know I'm playing super well, but it's okay. My estimate is super high anyway. Alright, time for a pretty boring coin mission because we gotta kill some Chuck here. Oh, very nice RNG. Here's the switch, by the way. I'm just pressing that because I want the coin that's on top of it. That coin was, like, pretty bad. We love RNG. Alright. Going straight to the blue coin switch, right there. That is not good. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna kill like three additional check here because it takes forever. I'm just gonna do the other star that's left. Oh well. The train wreck was finally achieved. So for this star, normally, oops, normally you would take the metal cap, uh, not the metal cap, the vanish cap, 
But since we got 60 degree wall kick angles, we can just triple jump wall kick up there. Most experienced player of this game, by the way. Let's go. I think it really shows. So yeah, we're just gonna redo this. My day was... Uh, so far... Unspectacular. I woke up. I ate. I hosted this event for a little bit. And now my run. That's my day so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, we are back where we were. And this time, hopefully, don't grab the fans. Awesome. Wow. RNG really, really not in my favor. There are no spare coins. Zero. Unfortunately. Here we go. All right. Finally done with like one of the more boring courses. That took a while. Shouldn't have taken that long. Okay, here comes the intentional save and quit, because we are going back to Overworld 1. We have one course left here, we had to skip because of the metal cap requirement. And now we can go there. First of all, just uh, moving to the top of the level. I guess there's the King Bobomb fight. This fight is a little different though, because King Bobomb moves faster. And only takes two hits, as you could see. Oops. But yeah, it's actually not uh, not that easy to re-grab immediately because you gotta build forward momentum while jumping over him in order to like be right next to him when you land. Otherwise, uh, you won't get the grab. Some wall kicks here to skip climbing the pillars. This is like that one level and not you played. Yeah. Because this is based um, on the first course of the original Star Revenge. Pretty much. And the first course in Night of Doom is based on that. I mean, it all makes sense. Okay, I read on 1.3, whatever. Got the rollout. 
That's a little sketchy because if you get too much dust, you fall down to the start. Pretty bad. Speaking of optimizations, jumping over the bob bomb there to get a little push forward at Keeper. We love small optimi optimizations that save probably a couple frames. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a true single star. Alright, let's do coins. Pretty quick coin star. I like it. Also, there's a funny momentum here. I didn't get the angle right, unfortunately. Secret bomb clip on top of the level. Only seen here. The bob bomb incident. <laughs> okay, and here, the one and only star that makes us do two trips to the first overworld. Literally the only star. Version 2.1, you could grab this uh, star without hitting the switch. But with the update, Brilliant moved the star a little bit more towards the middle of the switch, and now it's impossible. And now we are heading back to the second overworld. Taking the left door to save 10 frames, yep. The more you know. <laughs> this kip is pretty terrible, but I got it. The music might be boring, but the stage itself is pretty fun. Just focus on the lit gameplay right here. Yeah, the ground pounds and shit. Like, look at these skips, like, oh my god. Also... QSLGs in my Super Kaizo? Yeah, let's go. Double thirsty, alright. 
Yes. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that made my day right there. Oh, missing a coin, that's great. Oh, missing another one. No, I'm not missing that. I actually need to kill an extra Goomba already. So I got a question, has anyone managed to get all the blue coins there? Because I haven't. It's already really hard to get uh, all of them except one. Purple stuff is quicksand, by the way. I probably should have said that at some point. That ramp right there, like, I took the right side of the ramp because the left side has no collision to it, you just walk through it. That's just things you find out while playing this game too much. I had no idea with that angle that I would uh, still not latch grab. Interesting. So now we press the switch on the one side of the level and then we have to go to the other side of the level because, yeah. Funny. Pretty exciting star design. Definitely my least favorite in this stage. But yeah. Also, if you paid close attention when I got the blue coins here, there was one pillar that had no blue coin on it. Kinda suspicious, right? Exactly. That is the pillar. Alright. Bowser 2, also entirely remade. Basically... The biggest change here is the lava level is so much higher. So in case you fall down, you're not immediately dead anymore, which is good. I really didn't like that about uh, the old versions of this stage. Grabbing that coin midair. Very satisfying. And now just doing two lava bounces to skip a big detour. But that also means we have one health for the Bowser fight, so crashing into Bowser is forbidden. You cannot take any damage here. Here we go. 
Nice. Perfect. Nine. Also one of the unchanged levels from the very first version. Except the music. Or like the port. Actually, is a change right here. The box switch was not on the roof before, but now it is. Oh shit! I guess that's to make the time limit less strict. I think I'm going back now. There's no way I'll make that. There we go. Was not good. Here we go. But we survived. That's all that matters. Alright, here comes entirely a new movement for the star. Found by yours truly. No, not myself. Captain Bowser. Oh shit. That was the wrong wall. That movement is so sick. And it saves like 5 seconds. stars of this level that are not the coin star. Fortunately we can skip the long elevator ride by doing two lava bounces like this. And landing here. Very nice. And also broke the box with the ground pound. That's pretty tough. Tough timing. Red coin star. Not paired with the 100 coin star. Or like the 80 coin star. Because it's so far off. And... For the final star we have to collect secrets with the wing cap. And it's just really, really easy to get a lot of coins while flying through the whole level. That's why we do that. Check out Metal Chungus. I don't know why that song is actually good. But it is.
clean. Okay, here the nerf wrecking star. Because dying here costs so much time. So if you ask yourself, why didn't you talk to the Bobomb while doing the other star on the volcano? The Bobomb is there. But um, it will tell you something different unless you are on Act 6. It won't open the cannon unless you are on Act 6. It tells you like to come back when you have collected the other 5 stars or something. So we actually have to go there, otherwise we wouldn't. focus a little bit so I don't mess this up, hopefully. Because that would be terrible. Oh, that was close. Oh no! Alright, let me grab those coins from the scuttlebug. And another one! From the lucky two. But now I have to get another metal cap. It's fine though. Got some extra coins there as well. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, wing cap. Oops. Alright, now I won't even go for the line of five behind the house because I can just kill two group members. Yo, Captain Bowser is here. You already got your shoutouts. I know you like your shoutouts. Course 8 also completely changed. But we're going to uh, Vanish Cap first. Which is unchanged. Unfortunately, because it's actually a difficult level. Hello, there it is. <laughs> 60 degree walking patch saved my life there. That was not a glitchy walking. Oh, there's no star animation here. I do not backtrack.
Okay. Now two stars that actually require them. Vanish cap. Was about to say metal cap again. You guys did it. There we go. There used to be an invisible box down here. here we go. I actually do not understand why he took the box away. It's not like it's hard to find in the middle of the platform. When you are down there stuck anyway, like there's no other way to go. Oh, there used to be a sign as well, yeah. Like, if you were unlucky and bonked the sign while breaking the box with a gra- Why am I getting these coins? Um. Uh-oh. 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 I went completely the wrong way. Uh-oh. Like, if you bonked the sign, breaking the box with a ground pound, and then bonked, fell in the quicksand, you actually soft locked. used to be like a little tunnel over here, which we used to skip a good part of the level. But now you can also just triple jump dive up there. <laughs> the skip is not patched or anything. I find this easier even. Coins. Actually, not much RNG on this one. For ones. I guess blue coins your RNG, but it's only one coin, you can react. Better than five coins flying everywhere. And hopefully, we won't get wrecked by the fly guy here. That was close. <laughs> That's really nerve wrecking because you are at 75 coins. I got killed by that fly guy. Already. I don't know if it was in a run or just in practice. But it happened. It's not fun.
Uh, no red coins in this stage. Okay, for this star, you're supposed to uh, walk around this canyon. But we can also just do that. <laughs> and we are right there. If you're good enough, you can also skip getting stuck in the sand, but that means you have to dive on the slope and then still manage to have enough speed to reach the ground while sliding on the slope. Otherwise, you will slide in the quicksand. It's risky, but it's possible. I don't go for it. Also, this star is entirely changed. Like, normally there was a star in the temple. Like, there was actually a sub-area. But that's entirely gone. And we still got the Triforce star. It was always there, but now it's in a different spot. So if you're playing this casually and think, hmm, I know where this one is. No, you don't. But yeah. Should be glad that I'm showing you right now where it is. <laughs> so you don't have to search for that. Here we go. My British accent? Dude, I am German. How do I have a British a British accent? Maybe it's because I watched a bunch of British YouTubers or something. Um, yeah, that is where 60 degree walking angles are not helpful. Otherwise I would have never bonked there. But that's cool. It's a blessing and a curse at the same time. I did not. Like, we all agreed on the music being boring. Egg Lab accent, uh, unreachable. So, uh, yeah, I probably should say I just clipped through the grid there. Um, for some reason, that happens when you are like touching the wall and jumping in the water. <laughs> Normally, you're supposed to take the vanish cap for that, but we don't need that. I think uh, that's just something that happens with thin walls and water. Like, I remember that from Star Road as well, in the wind cap stage, for example.
Okay. Here, we got the hidden vanish cap. Behind the tower. That gives us access to a whole bunch of new stuff. And another hidden vanish cap. In the one tree that looks different. And now we can actually access course 13. A fan favorite. Because the color is so good. Alright, let's see if I can pull this off. Very nice. Very nice. That's a tough strat. A lot of blind wall kicking. So, on this version, Brody had added pipes. I don't know why, but he added pipes, so you can actually go through the level a lot faster. This star, where you just long jump to it and hopefully don't miss, yeah, and then just to fall for an hour. It's good, it's good. Also, all the star names have to be read backwards in this level. You probably saw that already. You never thought about reading backwards, really. Nice collision. This star is in a really, really awkward position now, because it's actually hard to reach with a double jump kick. But if you miss it, you enter belly slide and pretty much have to start over. It's dumb. That is something that was changed for this version. Pretty good course 13 overall. One star left and that's free. Because you literally just go down here. Boom. Yeah. 
Nice. I'm sorry to all the people who guessed because I missed a speed kick there. Twenty one point six? Nope. Okay, off to the final overworld, finally. 100 stars in. Did I mention that this uh, hack has no fall damage? I probably didn't. Uh, this hack has no fall damage. Maybe you got confused already. Strange letter space. Here we go. We have a funny star name here for star one. And we're gonna see that a lot because I'm gonna get that pretty much last. Hey, Mushi, I almost read that wrong. Like, imagine that sentence, but without the good luck. That's what I read. And I was kind of concerned. Yo, Deckage, thank you for the raid. What if the sentence is fine that way too? Uh, I'm gonna m go to the Netherlands uh, when you are there then. Deckage with the Star Road grind. So yeah, uh, all these platforms are letters, it's probably obvious, but sometimes it's not, because they are pretty big, and the star names give you a hint on which letter the star is. Here, tiny little skip. The Y, the letter Y, has pretty janky slopes and ground. Like, you can actually only long jump from the very top where I long jumped from. Otherwise, you would uh, get a slope jump and potentially die. It's great. Oh no. Okay, I saved it even though I had a bad angle. Nice camera. And finally, the coin mission. Which is pretty fun. I should say fun until you die with 70 coins. 
because that tends to happen sometimes. Basically, you have to go through the whole level, even though you can skip two red coins. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? I'm the luckiest. Nope. Nope. I'm the luckiest player alive right now. Let's go. <laughs> Two check your grabs and I'm alive. This is great. Marathon luck, but this time it was actually good luck. Nice, nice. What a funny run this is. Rainbow Crossing Galaxy. Another pretty good level. I will not show them the star because I I'm so inconsistent at that strat. Also because of um, 60 degree walking patch you cannot build momentum that easily. Because you will bonk on the pillar that you just slide across in 2.0. Wow! That's a good start. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be below estimate. Like 10 minutes. So we're all fine with the uh, schedule. Yes, CB, there is an alternative method, but it's hard. Also, I'm bad at frame perfect slide kick. I really do not care that I missed uh, sub 2 hours to Bowser throws. Like my PB is 2 hours and 3 seconds. <laughs> and I missed like 2 throws. But I really don't care because the run really wasn't good. I wanna improve that anyway. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> okay, this is what's ha what happened to CB uh, when he dropped the 56. I just had to show you that. Anyways. I'm still getting a 205. There we go. Here comes a massive skip. Because of this skip, we first of all don't have to go to the cannon, but more importantly, we do not have to open the cannon at all. But we gotta do a pretty precise arch in order to skip all that. It's hard. When you hit the ceiling there, you will also like get pushed around, which is bad. But you want to be as close to the ceiling as you can in order to actually reach the ledge there. Second try is still okay. And now, no fall damage, and we can just go down like that. So, by far the longest star. Here you can actually see all of the level. Because we gotta climb all the way to the very top. Using the slope there. Oh. That's fine. Can still reach that. I almost fell down. Would have been sick. By sick, I mean I would have died one minute into the star. Yep. <laughs> I'm not necessarily tired. Like, I actually had to wake up before I wanted to today. Because of hosting. But I'm not really tired. I woke up at 9. Yeah, it's not that early. Like in my everyday life, I usually have to wake up at around 7, so...
Yo, no problem, Andrew. Like I said, this is no inconvenience for me. Because I would would have been here to host anyway. Alright, how about we don't die with 70 coins now? I would appreciate that. Looking good so far. One cannon shot away. Very nice. And when the start is um, actually the end. In all the other versions, it was possible to skip getting the uh, wing cap, but it was terribly precise. On this version it's not possible anymore, so we actually don't have to debate about, hey, should we do this in runs? Now we just have to grab the wing cap. Yeah, I decided to uh, the estimate time for this run. You have to know, when I made the estimate, I had only completed one run of this category. Wow. That's a great mistake. <laughs> Uh-oh. Good thing the estimate is this high. Clear. <laughs> Damn. Why am I? What? I was holding left, and he was going to the right? Um, yeah, okay. Okay. Never seen stuff before. Never seen stuff. <laughs> so, I was not supposed to enter the cannon there. I got a little distracted. I got a little distracted. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, when I do runs at SRM, it's always a train wreck. Let's be real. You guys know better than, than that. Alright. Looks like we will not get a 205, but a 206. <laughs> it's fine. So this level is entirely changed, but we will just go through the level to course 15 first, which is hidden in the blue area right here. But this level has a little twist. As you might notice, I'm going a little faster than normally. Like, Mario's actually moving at double speed. And now we have to collect 25 red coins. I'm more like 23 out of the 25. But, in this flower area we also gotta get 
Um, 80 coins. Because you can't actually get these. Oh, that's enough coins. Oh man, that was close. Alright. Perfect amount of coins. One more coin from down here and I have the star. Which spawns in a really weird fashion. We got two more areas with double speed. But now we don't have to worry about 80 coins anymore, which is good. Also, QSLGing there because it's slow sand, and with QSLGs, you can still get a full jump, making it possible to reach that ledge in the first place. No, that is not a fixed star spawn. I think it uh, spawns in that XY position, but the height is dependent on where Mario collects the final coin. Because when you get the the ATF coin, like with a red on top of a structure, the star is at that height. with this one. Very good. One more. The lava area. The thing is the lava area only has one tough coin, but we can skip that because we can skip two. The tough coin being the one in the alcove over there. Oh my god. Can I stop dying? I thought double speed was enough. Oh, you are so wrong. Because now we got the hyper speed coins. This is like four times speed. Just doubling what we had before. 
Making that coin right there is super difficult. To the final five stars. Now it feels really weird to just be at normal speed again. That's funny. But actually, we have one more level to do that is outside of the final Bowser level. Because we need 120 stars to get access to it. The one and only 2D level in this game. And it's a pretty fun one if you do it right. Which I already didn't. Okay, apart from the start, that was actually beautiful. Here we go. And now, time for the rest of the hexagons. Pretty big skip here. Got it. So yeah, you will notice uh, these are entirely changed. Every hexagon looks completely different to what it was before. That was not a glitchy walking. That was 60 degree walking magic. It looks like a glitchy walking, but it actually isn't. You can glitchy walking at that corner. I've done that. One more. And the yellow hexagon also has a really big skip. I like how these hexagons have pretty much... Or like, 50% of these have big skips, at least. I mean, that's pretty good. Oops. If I could get this arch... Oh my god. There we go. Okay. We managed to get here.
Alright, time is coming up on Big Star Grab. And... Time. Two oh six oh one on my timer, but I use in-game time. So yeah, that is Redun two point two Star Revenge one point five Star Takeover Redun version two point two. That's a pretty long name for a hack. I really, really recommend playing this hack. One of my favorites. If you don't know where to find hacks and how to patch, check out the description under the stream. Like, we have the patch list linked there. Um, we have the Discord where you can always ask. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you so much for being here through these nice two hours. And what is next? I don't know. Let me let me look. Super Captain Falcon 64. Yeah, you gotta watch that. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me once again. See ya then.